What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on my channel. Today what we got for you guys isn't something relating to multiplayer or campaign, but rather the zombies aspect of Black Ops 3. That's something that we know is going to be there, it's already been teased to us, and if you're a Treyarch fan, this is perhaps one of the most exciting parts of the upcoming game. Today what we're going to be discussing is potentially where we could see the story going, whether or not it's a full reboot or a continuation off of what we already know. We're going to be discussing that here in the next couple of minutes. But if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content. And if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to like rating down below. It really does help the video as well as the channel out and as always is greatly appreciated. So first things first, where could the zombies storyline eventually end up? Let's just say we're going to be continuing the storyline off of Origins or rather off of Buried. Since Origins was in fact a prequel to the zombie storyline that was supposed to tell how it all initially began, so, if you want to take it in that perspective, Buried was the actual last map in the sequential order. Now, eventually, after you completed the actual Easter egg in Buried, the storyline would take it so that our Black Ops 2 characters were eventually doomed to die. They were only instrumental to the storyline in the first portions of Black Ops 2, either carrying out Maxis' side or Richtofen's side of whatever you actually eventually wanted to do. But the characters themselves, they were not too important in the grand scheme of things. Yes, they actually were helping in picking one side or the other, but they were all just pawns in the games that we know here for Maxis and Richtofen. They were eventually doomed to die, which they did. So that leaves the OG zombie squad. Where are they? Well, presumably they're still on the moon. If you guys do remember back to Black Ops 1 and the moon map, the Easter egg there was to eventually fire off the rockets, which in turn blew up the entire Earth. That would create a post-apocalyptic world for our Black Ops 2 characters to eventually come out in through the groups of members that were survivors trying to just eventually stay alive and fend for themselves but the OG zombie squad is presumably still on the moon but all things considered it would be possible for them to teleport back to the broken earth now while examining these Easter egg endings there is still one that we should take a look at because while all of these can pretty much give us some nice speculation and theories to go off of and think what if there is still one giant one that is prevalent and could potentially turn the tides for the actual storyline that is the origins ending cutscene now the storyline with Samantha seemingly finished up it was ultimately a story within a story now the ending cutscene of origins cleared that up as Samantha was playing with her friend Eddie with toys portraying all of the storyline you viewed it through the eyes of Dempsey the figure not just a character angle now the thing is with this Eddie wants a turn because they got called down because of some unseen event that was creating some chaos but ultimately it ended up where Samantha just finished her story and Eddie didn't really get a turn to play with the toys and tell his side of it now perhaps the start of another three game storyline in which all of this restarts from a similar perspective but ends up slightly different is potentially possible the Nazi hat in the zombies teaser at the end of the reveal trailer could potentially be a hint towards this that we're going back to the World War II era, the Nazi zombies phase. Now, that little teaser that we got of zombies in the actual reveal trailer was something very small and not too much to go off of. However, there are, in fact, rumors that we can potentially be seeing two sides to the actual zombies game mode, one classic Nazi zombies, and two, a brand new series in which we see a new story coming out of it, both keeping the nostalgia and keeping the storyline moving along. Now, that also doesn't really clear up the hints that we've had already in the pre-order poster where only the cursed survive and in the actual poster itself down below on the bottom is the skyline of Chicago so potentially we could be seeing this go towards the city and a more modern map but that's something that has yet to be clarified and something that time will tell as time goes on in the next couple of months here and that our questions will be answered very soon but as for right now that's where we're gonna end the video up here today ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching let me just think down there in the comment section down below do you guys think that we're gonna getting a full reboot here of the zombie storyline in black ops 3 or do you think it's gonna be something that is some sort of continuation or brand new storyline here or maybe something else entirely but if you did like the video be sure to leave a like rating down below and he shares your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're a jake that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the best of quality black ops 3 content any new news information you guys know exactly where to find it right from my channel 
Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs>